The Rebecca Nurse Homestead is located in Danvers, Massachusetts. This was home to no other than Rebecca Nurse. Rebecca Town was baptized on February 21, 1621 in Great Yarmouth, England. Rebecca's parents, Joanna and William, had eight children. Four girls named Mary, Sarah, Rebecca, Susan, and four boys named John, Edmund, Jacob, and Joseph. Susan died when she was only five years old, which made Rebecca the oldest of all the siblings. After Joanna and William had seven children, they moved to the New World in 1640. They settled in Salem Village, now known as Danvers, Mass. Later in life, Rebecca married Francis Nurse, who was also born in England and moved to the New World when he was younger. Francis was a train maker that made rare household goods for the wealthy. He also served as a constable in the town meetings. The nurses had eight children, Rebecca, Sarah, John, Samuel, Mary, Elizabeth, Francis, and Benjamin. Their children were grown to be very religious. The house was built in 1681 by Governor John Endicott. Then James Allen bought it and started renting it off to Francis Nurse, husband of Rebecca. After 20 years of renting, he bought the property and reconstructed the house. The homestead was located on 300 acres of land, but is now only located on 2 acres. The Nurse family owned 300 acres of land to grow crops and let animals graze. 300 acres was the average amount of land a typical farm colonist would own. The house was made of wood, and when it was first built in 1678, the house only consisted of one room. In later years, like 1720, 1750, 1850, and 1920, the family added additions onto the house. The women wore many layers of clothes, so if the coals from the fire were to get on their clothing, they would notice it before they would be able to burn them. They ate many different types of food they grew on their farms. They would also drink beer and cider because they did not have much of water available to them that was sanitary. Back then, the more children you had, the more helpers around the house you had. The children were taught to be very obedient, but if they misbehaved, they would either get their knuckles slapped or get hit by the paddle. The Salem witch trials were started by a few young girls that got sick. When the doctor came to examine them, he diagnosed their illness as a result of witchcraft. The symptoms now show that they could have been abused by their parents, or they could have had a non-life-threatening disease. Once these girls had been diagnosed with this illness, they decided to blame it on Rebecca Nurse, an old family rival. Although Rebecca was one of the most unlikely suspects of the trials, her trials were held in March and June of 1692. Rebecca's first trial on March 24, 1692, 39 of the most important members of the town signed a petition in Nurse's name that she was not guilty, which was very dangerous to do in this situation. But every time the jury reached a verdict, a person would cry from the audience and plead that she was not guilty. This resulted in Rebecca thinking that she had nobody to look to but God. The verdict of this trial was that Rebecca was innocent. This was a huge relief for her family. After the ruling, there was such a major outburst by the townspeople and the girls that were supposedly being afflicted that the judge reconsidered the trial. On June 30, 1692, Hobbes explained to the jury that Rebecca had said, What do you bring her? She is one of us. Nurse only meant that Hobbes was a fellow prisoner, but the jury took it the wrong way, which directed Rebecca to being guilty. Rebecca was hanged on July 19, 1692. 
In the cemetery behind the homestead, there is a memorial for Rebecca, although her gravesite is currently unknown, because if the sheriff at the time had found out they had taken her body, then she would have been dug up and the family would have been arrested. Researchers suspect that the three unmarked graves in the row consist of Rebecca and two other family members.